In Newark, one of the best places to see contemporary art is at the newly revitalized Hain Building. Follow the signs to express Newark, a place where Rutgers University Newark and the larger arts community find common ground. We stopped by the Paul Robeson Galleries at Express Newark. It was the opening for Mirror Mirror, an exhibition about portraits, both the images we make of ourselves and the images others make of us. The work is wildly diverse, by 32 artists and one artist collective. In the entrance hallway is Stop Telling Women to Smile, posters you may have seen on the street or in Spike Lee's She's Gotta Have It on Netflix. I was walking downtown Brooklyn and I saw this poster. I put it on my Instagram and said, who is this? I want to meet this artist. And then right away I got a whole lot of responses. My name is Tatiana Fazlalizade. I am an artist and I am the art consultant on She's Gotta Have It. Well, I am a woman who experiences street harassment and I have for most of my life. And so as an artist, it made sense to me to create a project that was based in the street. The artist Dred Scott's fictional wanted posters describe people who fit certain profiles, but who have not committed crimes. One reads, the male was observed standing on corner with other males. These posters show how innocent people become targets. Mirror Mirror invites discussion. Students from the Rutgers Truth, Racial Healing and Transformation organization were at the opening. Art definitely brings expression. It's meant to make you feel. Having people question what is, what is really gender and age and race and really just putting other thoughts and pictures and images to what that actually looks like. The artists in Mirror Mirror are looking at gender, at race, and at our surveillance state. The way that facial recognition systems work once you're sort of identified, the system will sort of collect data on you and then put it into an identity profile. Not unlike a marketing profile that Facebook sells our information to, right? So if someone is wearing my face, then all of the information about what they're doing on camera gets transferred to my identity rather than themselves. How others see us, how we see ourselves. Artist Kevin Darmani has some of his early work on display in Mirror Mirror. It's part of a superhero series starring himself. I basically made myself my hero in my own life story. This was actually work from the beginning of my uh, career as an artist. So looking back at it, this kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of bite my nails a little bit, you know. But at the same time, it, I'm kind of proud to see that work up and especially with the way people have responded to it because I think everyone has a little bit of that in themselves and they kind of admire people who would take that step in terms of putting themselves out there. Kevin lives and works in Newark where he contributed to one of the longest murals in America. It's important that people understand like you don't have to be pigeonholed in that box. You can diversify. As part of the Mirror Mirror exhibition, Kevin led a workshop using selfies to create portraits. So what I had done with the class today, see, it was like a simple exercise, was really just to have the students take someone else's selfie and render it. And then for them to now go back and review it and, and realize that, okay, it's not just photo reference, there's also like, a, there's a statement in that photo, even if it's something that's very quickly taken. Sometimes an image quickly taken conveys more than one that's carefully taken, right? The catalog for Mirror Mirror begins with a quote from the writer Maya Angelou. We have to confront ourselves. Do we like what we see in the mirror? You're sort of on display even whether you choose to or not. Those gawking eyes are there and it's how do you make, you know, peace with it. 